Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about extracting data from Azure SQL database to Azure Data Lake using Data Factory, in particular with Manage Identity, which in my opinion is the best way, the easiest way to authenticate and gain access to various Azure resources. If you're new to my channel, I'm Riz Ang and I build data platform. If you like videos about Azure or data engineering or data platform, then you're in the right place. First, let's talk about the design. Now, the design is actually very straightforward because we just have Azure SQL DB. Data Factory will pick some data from there and drop that into Data Lake. Very straightforward. But I want to highlight a couple of things here. That is the use of managed identity to seamlessly access both data lake and database, uh, SQL data database. And what I meant by seamlessly is that using managed identity, you don't actually need to manage it later on. It's basically a system generated account by Microsoft Azure. And you don't need to worry about where you want to store the credentials to how you're going to make sure that this credentials are uh, refresh or if, if they expire, you don't need to worry about who, who owns that account. If you have, if you have an, a normal user account, you typically have to do a per periodic review. Now I'm going to assume for this demo, you already have a data factory and data lake, because I'm not going to create it again. And also I'm going to assume you have a SQL DB with a table in it. So we can do a simple copy example. All right, then let's go to the demo. All right, welcome to Azure portal. As you can see, I have created my data factory, Azure SQL, SQL DB, and data lake. Before we move on to data factory, I just want you to know that we need to assign the managed identity data factory the right role so that it can access and read or write data. What we can do, we go to storage account, data lake, and you go straight to the access control. Yeah. I want to make sure that you can, you do this. So you click add, call assignment, find the storage blob data contributor. And you check, go for data factory. And this is the data factory I'm interested in. So just click that one and save. It will take a couple of seconds and it will be populated there. The next thing I want to make sure you do is go to networking and make sure you have the allowed trusted microservices to access this account, storage account ticked. Otherwise the managed identity won't be able to access because the idea is data factory is a Microsoft service and we want to trust that and allow connection in the backend. Back to the resource group, the next thing that I want you to check is the SQL Server where the SQL database is hosted. What you want to do is you want to go in your SQL Server in Azure. And first thing that you want to do similar to Data Lake is you want to go to security here, firewalls and virtual networks. What you want to check is you want to make sure again, you allow Azure services and resources to access the server, make sure you Put that yes. All right. The other thing that you might need to do is if you go to your Active Directory here, uh, you'd like to either assign yourself as the admin or you assign the AD group where you're in or the list of the security admins really. Because what you're going to do next is you want to create user, contain database user within Azure SQL database for the data factory managed identity. And then you assign relevant roles for that managed identity. I'm now in SQL Server Management Studio where I'm inside the database that I was referring to. Now in here, simple. All I wanna do is I just wanna create a user for the managed identity data factory. So I have this statement here, create user, and I wanna assign role i.e. data writer and data reader to that data factory managed identity so that basically I can read and write uh, in the database. What you can do, I just block that and 
successful completed. Now we can go to data factory. Welcome to data factory. Now I'm going to start creating some link services using those managed identities. First, I'm going to start with SQL database. Okay, this one, that one, I'm just going to name it LS ASDB. I'm going to pick the server and database name that I'm interested in. And I will choose the second one, which is Manage Identity. Again, SQL authentication means you use a CEO SQL account, which is not ideal because you have to manage that account going forward. Similarly, service principle as well. But the difference is service principle is basically a generic account ac across the Azure estate, whereas SQL account, SQL authentication is usually SQL account just for your SQL database or just, yeah, just for that resource. Manage identity is what you want. And if you've done all the steps that uh, I mentioned before, you should have the connection successful. You create that, and I'm going to create the same for the data lake. I'm just going to name that LS ADLS. Again, I'm going to use minus identity here. Pick my storage account. I'm going to press connection. And also successful. Easy peasy. With me having these two uh, link services now, I can start creating some data sets. Start with creating SQL DB first. Yes. ASDB, use that link service. And you know what? I'm just going to use this table here as an example, really. Okay, I'm going to save that one and I'll create another one. Data Lake. DLS. I'm just going to type test test CSV. First row is a header. Okay. I have created these data sets. reason it doesn't exist but I'm just gonna create it for now. I'm just gonna pick that one test it's gonna copy the same. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Just gonna save. From here I'm just gonna create a simple pipeline again as usual just to show you how it works. Source is my SQL DB. I'll just stick with that one, and the same would be my data lake. And I'm just gonna go with the park. And it's successful. That's it for today's video data extraction from SQL DB Azure to data lake using Data Factory Managed Identity. Subscribe or like the video uh, as usual find this useful and if you have any questions let me know down in the comment and thanks very much i'll see you in the next one